Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are back in the town. Already. I mean, we were just here yesterday, and now we're back today. But guys, I felt like building some more in here. This has been amazing, the support has been overwhelming, you guys are really excited about the town, I'm really excited about the town. So I figured, let's go ahead and do another episode. So, what you're looking at here is our new muscle car. So we've got a new muscle car and we've got one new building in the town. Now both of these will be on the workshop, so if you'd like to download them. But anyways, let's go ahead and travel over to our new building. We'll test this uh, muscle car out a bit. Anyways, this is all in vanilla parts, so we're gonna see how much power we've got here. And this thing's a little unstable and- oh! Well that didn't work very good. But anyways, let's go around the corner here. Now, if you remember last episode, we built a post office and mail truck, and those are going to be coming up on the right here. I actually have something to go over with the mail truck. Uh, you guys pointed something out, and I have fixed it. Also, we're at the most manliest place in Scrap Mechanic. We're at the Starbucks. I know this is a really weird combination. I figured, you know, okay, let's build a Starbucks, because somebody asked for a coffee store. Then I was like, well, I need a vehicle, too, and for some reason I thought of a muscle car, so don't ask. I have no clue how these two came together. But anyways, let's go ahead and open this thing up real quick. And as you can see, every about everything opens up. But before we check this out and before we check the coffee shop out, we're going to actually go look at this mail truck. This is the mail truck and the post office. Both of these are available on the workshop. This was yesterday's episode. Now, something was pointed out to me about the mail truck, and it was a mistake that I made. And it was the whole fact that the driver's side was on the wrong side. So I have corrected that. It's on the right side now. I've re-uploaded it to the workshop. So it's, I think it's under Mail Truck 2.0. So if you guys like to get the updated version, uh, just walk, go over to my workshop and you can download it. But yeah, I thought I'd point that out because I've been getting a lot of comments about it and I do apologize about messing that up. I just really wasn't paying attention, I guess. But yeah, here is the new items. Now, both of these are also on the workshop. Uh, like I said yesterday, all my buildings are now also included in the workshop. You can see this is elevated. So all I've got to do is delete that block over there and then I believe I have one down over here that I need to delete. And I can put it on a lift and put it on the workshop. So this will be on there at the time of upload of this video. So hopefully you go check that out. Also, the Steam group is down in the description. Now, here is our muscle car. I'm actually kind of happy with the way this came out. I was really unsure about how I was going to do this. I have scaled back my vehicle a little bit. Uh, normally, I've been using the really big tires, which that's really good for trucks and say big vehicles but i was also using it on smaller vehicles but i decided i'm gonna stop it so i'm actually using the smaller tires and they don't look terrible uh, i'm still not big on the scale of them I, I really wish they were just a little bit bigger but i can get used to it but yeah this is a somewhat like a i don't even want to say what type of muscle car i think this is like because i'm probably going to be wrong we'll just say this is a 70s style muscle car you can say Challenger or not Challenger Charger uh, Maybe Mustang. I, I don't really know. I just kind of went off some pictures and yeah, I'm kind of mixed and matched a little bit But yeah, it's got quite a bit of detail. You can see the uh, Front here. I kind of changed the bumper up I love the way it kind of goes in and you've got the lights there uh, Engine detail. There's a little bit I didn't want to cram too much down there because there's not much room uh, I need those tires to be able to turn but we do have a little intake system uh, everything comes out the top it's really neat looking uh, it's made completely out of metal I just love the way the metal block looks especially when it's painted so I decided to go ahead and go with it I somewhat been doing the concrete blocks but I don't know it's something about that metal texture that looks so much better but yeah here's the uh, trunk you can see inside got all the controllers back here and I actually have the motor back here too uh, this vehicle is an odd amount of blocks wide so the motor won't set right in the middle, so I decided, let's just stick it in the back. It looks almost like a generator or something in the back. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome car. The inside is okay in detail. I didn't really know what to put in here. I mean, you got a little stick shifter, some buttons. Of course, everything works. You've got the doors, you've got the trunk, hood, and roof. 
Now, the doors can be opened from the outside, which that's kind of new to my vehicles is ever since the uh, Logic update or the Logic gates, you can do that. And also, the trunk can be opened from the outside. But yeah, like a muscle car, it's rear wheel drive and it really likes to drift a lot. So it's actually kind of fun to drive around. I don't have many open areas to take this, but I need to probably think about that soon. Uh, maybe making some sort of highway or bridge system. I, I know a long time ago I talked about doing a neighborhood, uh, somehow finding a road to get out of here and find another flat spot. So maybe that would give us some open highway to really drive this thing around. Also, a drag strip is also an option too. But yeah, cool vehicle on the workshop. It's under, I think it's just under muscle car. I didn't actually name it anything. Uh, let's go ahead and hop out here. Oh, I was trying to figure out which key it was. Uh, you can't really get out the uh, doors because the roof's so low. But yeah, it's an awesome vehicle. But let's go uh, check out the main attraction here. <laughs> and This was odd for me. Uh, I was going to do a coffee shop because it was requested. Uh, by the way, I'm taking requests if you guys want to comment below. Uh, you have been su so supportive the past day. I've been getting a lot of requests and a lot of good ideas to uh, try out. So, anyways, here is... You know what? I don't really want to call this a Starbucks anymore. Uh, let's call it a Scrap Bucks. That sounds a lot better. It kind of goes with the theme. And also, don't ask me why I built it right by the junkyard. I wasn't thinking about it. I was like, hmm, would somebody want to go buy a $5 cup of coffee right next to a junkyard? Probably not. Would they build next to it? Probably not. So just ignore that that's even there. Uh, yeah, that's a little disappointing. But I didn't think about that. I can always move it, I mean, but I just, I like the road it's on and I like the location right by the uh, post office. I just don't like the junkyard, but. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the exterior. Uh, the way a lot of these Starbucks buildings work they're really odd looking uh, they got a lot of weird angles uh, the roof's never even there's different materials like you've got the wood corner here you've got the concrete over here uh, you've got some metal we'll call it art and the uh, glass is outlined in metal also uh, they've always got a lot of foliage out front and right around their patio area now this one is a little bit different. Not every Starbucks has a drive-through, but I actually made one that goes all the way around. We'll actually try it out with the uh, muscle car here in a second because nothing screams just manliness like taking a muscle car to go get a pumpkin spice latte. But up there is the, I don't even know what that is. I tried to make the Starbucks logo in pixel art, but this is a scrap bucks now and maybe I should just put an S on there or something. Might change that, not 100% sure. But yeah, uh, let's go around to the other side here. We can see the nice patio area. You've got all the nice furniture out here. I really love those pipe pieces. Those are amazing. And somebody was asking yesterday, is that a mod? And no, it's not. These are now in the default scrap mechanic game. And uh, it's really awesome. They really could add some more angles to it. Uh, they have a good bit of angles, but I would like to see more slanted pieces. But it works for the railings out here, it works for the furniture. Uh, nice area to set out. Uh, you've got a little parking lot here. Uh, it probably should have more. Maybe across the street we'll add some more parking. I actually need something across the street. Uh, the terrain isn't ideal because it jumps up and down, but uh, we might be able to put something over here. Maybe something a little smaller, so if you have any suggestions for what can go across the street, uh, definitely comment below. Uh, another thing I should note is that this building had basically no performance impact on the map, which was really strange. I'm happy that that's happening. It's just, it's weird because I had so many troubles with this map and all of a sudden I can stick something like this and it's got quite a few bearings on the inside and I don't have any issues. So not really sure what's going on there. And uh, one more thing I'm going to point out about the outside is those are not my bushes. Those were made by Moonbow. Uh, Moonbow has got a fantastic city he's building. Uh, he uses these bushes around there, and it's something, I think I picked him up, uh, he was helping me in the theme park, and I just, he uh, laid them out, and I picked them up, and they were, they're really awesome looking, so I like the way they look in this little area. I had to put like an island out here to kind of show you guys where to drive around. But uh, we're going to go inside real quick and check out the interior of the Starbucks. 
All right, we are ready to go into the interior of the coffee shop slash Starbucks slash scrap buck slash whatever you want to call this thing. This is probably one of my favorite interiors that I've ever done. It just has a nice look to it. I don't know what it is about it. You can see the double doors here. It's just extremely nice. And I was really surprised when I put it together. I started looking around. I was like, this is probably my favorite building. Uh, besides the bank and the uh, Boston Pizza restaurant across town has a really nice interior. This is this is up there though. But yeah, the uh, areas in here, uh, basically in these Starbucks or coffee shops, we're going to have a dining area. Uh, they do serve food in these. It's probably not the best food, but you can see them in the counters here. We have probably cake, pound cake, ducks. Uh, maybe those are like sweets or something. Not real duck. Uh, little cookies. Just whatever you would eat with your coffee but yeah you can dine in here the chairs I know they're touching the tables uh, they don't do it outside but I needed to conserve space so just picture the chairs being kind of pushed into the tables but you've got that and you've got a nice TV up here I really love just the whole fill of this area uh, you've got two bathrooms back here uh, boy and girl obviously uh, not much inside of them they're just pretty basic but over here, uh, all these coffee shops normally have their coffees on sale. You can buy some beans. Uh, I'm kind of limited with the things that I can use here, so I wound up using that pipe piece a lot. So just picture this being different blends of coffee. Maybe you've got a Christmas blend here. There's a normal blend. Uh, caramel, maybe? Uh, I don't know what the blue is. And we've got ducks. I've got to stick ducks everywhere. <laughs> we've got that. you got another nice little sitting area over here. you got a couch. I'm pretty sure there would be maybe a plug. Maybe I can make a little plug in the wall. Everybody in these stupid restaurants or stupid places always have their laptops out. And they sit there for hours. And they plug into the wall, uh, steal the Wi-Fi, and just do, I guess, important stuff. I don't really know. I don't like going in the inside of these. Actually, I don't like going into Starbucks at all. Uh, it's a little too expensive. I'd rather just, you know, grind my own coffee at the house and brew it. But uh, up here, I really love the lighting. It just gives a nice look. It kind of breaks up the ceiling. The ceiling is all completely white, but you've got these little brown awnings or brown things that come down with the lights built into them. Uh, here's the counter. Now, everything works in here. So you can go behind the counter, click there. Uh, you've got coffee makers back here, probably sugar, caramel, I don't know, the little dribble, dribble or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> all the stuff they put in these drinks now, I don't really know what half of it is. I just looked at a bunch of interior shots of the Starbucks, and I was like, okay, well, this looks like it belongs in here. Uh, maybe this is a different type of coffee machine. Maybe this is a latte machine. Got a little sink. Uh, you can get behind the counters here. Uh, you can open those up. Look at all the different sweets. And I do like sweets, so there's there's that. Maybe I can do that. And I can't get this button to close. There it goes. Uh, let's see. What else is back here? We've got the cash registers. I've got all the controllers hidden under here. I uh, really love the logic gates, the whole fact that now I don't have to put these doors on double bearings, so we can just close them like that with another switch. So those are really awesome. And the last thing back here is probably the drive through So take an order, there's a uh, little menu over there. Uh, I would picture, maybe there would be, maybe I can add a monitor or another cash register. But you have the wireless headsets, so they take the order, make the order, and they can drive around here. You can serve them through the window. It's uh, kind of cool. I like that a lot, actually. Might do more of these uh, restaurants. I don't know. These are really fun to do. Especially when they're modeled somewhat after real restaurants or real coffee shops. Anything that has a real brand to it. Kind of like my Napa store uh, down the street. It's always fun to model these after that. Uh, what does this one do? I don't even remember. Oh, that's on a logic gate, too. Kind of forgot about that. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and walk right back out, but give you one last view of the inside. I believe I covered everything in here. Nice building. Go right back out here. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the Starbucks. The last thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to drive through the drive through uh, I was having some issues with that. A lot of my vehicles, especially the ones with the big tires, have a really wide turning radius. But I believe I can get this muscle car, even though it's a rear wheel drive and those front wheels... Uh, if you don't have them hooked up to the motors, they don't tend to pull and turn as good. But I'm going to see if I can maneuver through there and uh, try to order some coffee. Alright, we're going to swing through here. Oh, this is going to be 
This might be kind of bad. It's going to be really tight. I could probably extend this off a bit. Uh, let's do like a 20 point turn. Okay, no, we can get to the menu pretty easy. Now, that right hand to get to the window is going to be a little hard, but yeah, you uh, take your order over here and we would drive up and probably do a 20 point turn to make this. Oh, might have just crashed into the building. Yeah, I'm going to have to make that just a bit wider. I believe if I go back, I won't run into the terrain back there. Maybe I can get another four or five blocks out of it because that's probably all I really need. Now, if we were in the mail truck, actually, no, we'd be on the wrong side. Never mind. But yeah, you can come over here, take your order, and I am stuck on the curb. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to change that because this is one of my smaller vehicles. So, I definitely know the big trucks are not getting through here. Uh, yeah, I'm completely lodged here. So, whoop. So, hop back out. We're just going to move our vehicle right into place. All right. Just, uh, just pretend that that actually worked. And, nope, we're backwards. <laughs> oh, this is going so well. Let's go ahead and lift that up. But yeah, you get what's happening there. It's just essentially a drive through I'm going to extend this back. Uh, maybe I'll have that ready by the time this update. It's going to be kind of weird because I'm going to have to take this off the lift and then do it. Because if I do it now, it's going to stick into the ground and it won't fall down freely. So I will fix that issue uh, before I release this thing. So look forward to that in the workshop. But anyways, guys, that's probably going to about wrap it up. I don't think I have anything else I need to go over. As you can see, it is still running fantastic. Um, and I'm just, I'm so happy right now. I have felt so overjoyed that I needed to just build some more. So I actually think that we're going to build one, we're going to do one more episode this week. It's probably going to be in the weekend. I'm probably also going to do one more viewer creation. So at least two more scrap mechanics coming before the end of the week. And then we'll probably mix in another game or two. So get kind of a nice mixture of everything. But anyways, if you have any suggestions for the town, let me know. Uh, I had to comment to quite a few people about stuff that's already been built. I think I had to tell somebody that I do have a bank. Uh, I will link that playlist in the description. Again, I have a playlist of all my town videos. So if there's anything you're looking for or a video about a certain building, just check that out. Uh, you should be able to find everything that you need to know. But yeah, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Hope you guys have a good day. Like I said, thanks for all the support on the town. This is definitely for you. This is why I came back even today. I sat down all day. Well, I don't want to say all day. I sat down for about a good three or four hours yesterday just to get this together for you guys. But yeah, guys, have a good day, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.